Hi, I'm Pix, um, longtime skincare enthusiast, first time content creator. <laughs> And I wanted to introduce myself real quick before getting into the kind of content I want to be making. Um, I am a 24 year old living in a major metropolitan area of the United States. I absolutely adore skincare and makeup, but sustainability and practicality, I guess, are both really, really important to me as well. So I wanted to start documenting my journey with products in skincare and in makeup, a little bit of both, depending on what I'm in the mood for, just to kind of keep track of what I like, what I don't, see what other people think maybe, and um, I don't know, create a community of people that I can talk about this with because I've already talked the ear off of my live-in boyfriend and all of my friends and they're sick of it and they're really nice about it, but, <laughs> but I'm kind of done bothering them. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> to get back to what I was saying, I really care about sustainability. I care a lot about practicality, but with those things, I'm not willing to sacrifice luxury. And I'm also not willing to pay an arm and a leg. So this is something that has not been easy for me as a journey over the last two or three years uh, since I've kind of redefined my skincare routine. But it has gotten so much easier with the recent influx of people creating and sharing their opinions. And honestly, at the end of the day, I just want to be a part of that. I just want to add to it. So here I am making a video and hopefully something will be useful to somebody out here who watches it. Um, and if you're that person, thank you, because that means a lot to me, actually. All right, so I went ahead, I put my hair up. I have a hair in my eye that didn't get put up. There it goes. Sorry. <gasps> One second. This is not where I normally do my skincare because it is not by a sink. Um, it is better to film in, but it is not where my tools normally are. And I forgot this little guy. It's a scoopy tool and eye tool. It doesn't roll around, but it does glide pretty smoothly and it is metal. So it'll last me forever. I actually got it for free in a little like gift kit of sample size products from Versed. It was on clearance right after Christmas, but I figured the metal tool by itself is probably worth more than the whole box set that I got, so that's fine. I like to start with the Papaya Enzyme Cleansing Balm from Glow Recipe. It smells so good. It's so divine. I love it so much, and that's good because it's over $30. But I've already been using it for about a month and a half, and I've really only scraped a tiny bit off the top, I'd say. It's gonna last me a good while. And that's one of my favorite things about Glow Recipe is that their products last a decent amount of time. They're not gonna last you forever. They're not going to be like a big bottle that you can just keep for years on end, but most products do expire or get less effective over time. So honestly, to have something that'll last that you don't have to use a ton of the product for it to work, that still has that like luxury feel to it. I love it. I love it. So I take this onto my tool. I do not put my fingers at all directly into the tub. That way it stays sanitary and I wash this tool after every single use. I am wearing a bit of makeup today. Waterproof mascara but not eyeliner so we'll see how this goes just to get you an idea and i really i start with dry skin i'm sure you noticed my skin has been dry this whole time but i really just work it in 
And I do have a decent amount, not a ton, but I do have a decent amount of face texture going on, especially by my cheeks. So I kind of do try to work it in to where it's bumpy, make sure that it's really taking care of everything. I'll get under my eyes first because they're naturally a little bit on the drier side and that way the oil cleanser can just sit there for a second. And then I gently wipe down here. I try not to rub too much. I use one finger like this and I just kind of gently wipe at the eye makeup. If I absolutely if I absolutely have to, I will do a slight back and forth right along my lash line, but not on the lashes themselves. Just kind of really work in that cleanser. And this whole time that you're doing that, if you get any on your eye itself, my vision goes a little cloudy, but it doesn't burn, it doesn't sting, and it rinses away when you use water. I did a little bit of facial contour today, so I'm just going to work it along my jawline. Alright, we see that. Alright, I am going to get a small amount of water. I'll be right back. <laughs> and we will emulsify the cleanser, and then I'll go rinse it off. All right, I am back. I just had to wet my hands. I really just wanted to show off the emulsification process because double cleansing to a lot of people is something they're only kind of getting into within the last couple of years and not everyone really kind of like delves deep before trying new things. So for someone who has been using an oil cleanser and finds that it doesn't take off all their makeup, it's really important to know that you really want to rub it in with a small amount of water to get it cloudy on your face. I don't know if you can tell because I am so dastardly pale, but it's getting milky and a little bit white where I'm rubbing. And now at this stage, I can go rinse this all off my face and use a water-based cleanser as my second step in the double cleanse. I'm going to be using the Advanced Snail Mucin Cleanser by CosRx. It's one of my favorites and it can be a little bit stripping if you use too much product and not enough water. But before I go and do this, I'm just going to show how much of this product I use. That's it for the entire face. I will add a tiny bit of water to this, foam it up a little bit, and then rub it into my face and keep adding water till it foams up, finishes foaming up, and then rinses off. I will be right back yet again. <laughs> so I come back with my face wet. I don't use a towel to dry it off because my skin edges a little bit towards dry and I need all the extra moisture I can. I take one pump, sometimes two, if I'm feeling a little dry already, of the Advanced Snail Mucin Essence by CosRx. I have been religious about this product for about three years now, and I do love it a lot. Um, but I also think that it isn't really meeting my qualifications anymore for what I want in my routine. And I'm relatively low, so Hopefully soon I'll find something to replace it that's a little more multifunctional, maybe has niacinamide in it because that's an ingredient my skin loves, but it's not currently in my routine really. Um, so we'll see where that goes over time. But for now, I just rub it in. I don't let it dry out completely, but it's honestly going to take longer when you come in with wet skin for it to dry out at all. Again, Smells fantastic. I can't say that for the CosRx ingredients because they're not really fragranced, but these naturally fragranced Glow Recipe products are to die for. 
This one is the Strawberry Smooth Serum. It's the only serum of theirs I have bought so far, but by itself, I've had it about two months, two and a half months. I've been using it every other night, except for the first week when I was using it every night. It didn't irritate my skin to do so, but it just didn't feel very necessary and I kind of cut down just to feel it out. But I only need one pump. Wipe off the little tip of the pump. And I rub it in all over. It's got BHA, AHA, azelaic acid in it. It's so, so nice and it smells good and it feels hydrating. It's $40, but for something that'll last me at least three to four months by itself, I think it's worth it. Finally, I don't have a fun moisturizer. I was using that as an excuse not to make a video because I was scared and being scared about it. But I wanted to wait until I bought a nicer moisturizer because I'm not excited about the CeraVe moisturizer. It's not bad. It's affordable. You get a huge tub for like, I think this was 16 bucks or something at Target. But all it does is seal in my other products. It doesn't really add any additional benefits. I would love something that makes my skin a little more plump, maybe feels a little less basic. It doesn't smell like anything. Not naturally, not unnaturally, like not even like a chemical -y smell, it just smells like nothing. If anyone has any moisturizer recommendations for me, feel free to leave them below. I was thinking about getting another Glow Recipe product because so far nothing I've gotten has disappointed me. But I also worry sometimes that if I put all my eggs in one basket, I'm not supporting other businesses who deserve to be supported. And I'm not trying new things, so feel free to recommend something. I like to bring the moisturizer all the way down to my neck. By the time I get to my neck, since I take my time, usually I'm starting to feel a little bit of like where certain spots might be drier. Um, sometimes I get that like a, a little bit of a tingle almost. And then other times, sorry, there is a hair on me. <laughs> and then other times it's more of just like a, I can feel it sinking in a little faster, almost like a patchiness feeling. So I'm gonna take a tiny bit more, not a ton, more than I'd like to use at once. I mean, I'm going through so much of this moisturizer yeah, it's a big tub, but at what cost, my dude? I would really rather use like this much once on my whole face of something that's more expensive and comes in a smaller jar. I really would. I would, especially if I can know that everything is ethically sourced. Then I just kind of press it in everywhere that feels like it needs a little extra. It feels like right here is fine for the most part, but I've got a lot of dryness over here right now. And that's okay. Summertime always messes with my skin and it is coming fast. But once I bring that down, you'll notice I'm patting instead of kind of rubbing it in like I was the first time. That's partially because my face is drier now and rubbing is rougher and less kind of, there's less slips. So there's, there's gonna be more pull if I do so but it's partially because in the areas that were really feeling that dryness, it's more beneficial to leave almost a layer than it is to make sure that it's sinking in because moisturizer isn't just hydrating with whatever products are in there and moisturizing. It's also creating that occlusive barrier just a little bit to help with the transepidermal water loss over time. Um, and I'm stumbling over my words, especially the big ones, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'll clean this tool as soon as I'm done with it, as soon as I'm done with this, I suppose. But my last step is always a lip balm. I usually apply one before I start my skincare routine anyway. I did it off camera before I started this whole shindig to begin with, but I'm bored of lip balms. 
I've been enjoying lip oils. And even though I have entire stacks of balms, just any type of lip balm you could possibly imagine, I probably have it in here. But these Milani Fruit Fetish lip oils own me. I have three of them. Three. They only make four. The raspberry peach, I, uh, it was out of stock when I found these. This one's clear, so it's the one I'm going to be using after a skincare routine without makeup or anything like that. But if I don't want the, like, glossy sheen, I just take it on the back of my hand. I feel like a, a little glob. You can kind of see that it's shiny. You don't need that much of it because you're not trying to get that sheen. And then... All right, so that is my nighttime routine, everybody. I feel a little glowy. I'm feeling nice and hydrated. If I'm staying up for a while, I might put a little more moisturizer on before bed just to keep my skin from getting a little dry in the night. But honestly, I feel good. I don't feel the need. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining me and have a great rest of your day. Bye.